Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about my favorite VS Code extensions. Not every but some of them which are very unknown or probably very uncommon but can be very powerful and very useful. It doesn't matter if you are a web developer, it doesn't matter if you are a Flutter developer, it can be useful for any sort of projects when you are using VS Code. So if you are a VS Code user then this video is for you. And before we start I just want to thank the sponsor of the video App Circle. This video is sponsored by App Circle. Build your apps, distribute it to testers and upload it to app stores. All automatically with quick and easy setup. One month free coupon code and the link in the description. So let's start with our first extension in my list. The first extension here is Bookmarks which is by Alessandro Fragnani. So this extension is as the name suggests this is for bookmarking and can be very very useful. So most of the time this happens that I just don't want to create to do's and all those sort of things because I definitely want to do this for myself not for my other team members as well. So in that case I can use something called bookmarks. So for example if you see this code like on line number 25 I just want to bookmark this my OBS thing. So what I can do I can go to the end of that line and I can say command shift P and here you can see I have something called bookmarks toggle. So I can just click on here and you can see I have this blue icon which is saying that it is bookmarked already now. And now you also get a tab over here if you see here you get a tab called bookmarks um, and this tab is what you can click and you can see all your bookmarks over here. So this is one file which is getting started and I have two bookmarks over here. I can also change the label of this bookmarks. I can click on this edit icon over here. If I click here I can name it something let's say my OBS and now you can see I have another bookmark over here. So similarly let's say I go to my card and here I want to bookmark this particular stuff so I can just say bookmark toggle. Now if I go to bookmark you can see I have a card bookmark over here as well and you can delete it from here as well. This can be very useful especially when you have to bookmark things. The second one in my list is my another very favorite. It's very new but very very close to me now that is thunder client and this is a rest api client for only for vs code so if you are using paw or if you are using postman so maybe you can ditch them for this particular thing thunder client this can be very useful so i'll just gonna show you and also just to mention that this was also a product hunt product uh, and it was voted as number 10 so that's that's a good thing about it and uh, if you have already installed it then you will see this tab over here which you can see here on the left side on the sidebar and if I click here you can see I have a collection called India Beats COVID and it has all sort of APIs which I am using for this project. Similarly you can have your environment variables here and you can have some activities here you can filter them you can uh, click here to import or reload you can create new collections over here and how it works I'm just gonna show you for example we have to get the list of uh, cities so I can click here and as you can see it's a get request you can click here you can change it to post put delete patch head op options whatever you want to use uh, you have same query auth headers body tests this is mostly like how postman works like the entire interface is like that only and then you have the url you can click on this send button and here it is saying processing and you can see status is 200 okay size you get time you get and it has response headers and all sort of things cookies test results so this is very very easy to use um, in already inside vs code can be very very damn useful and i personally love it if you loved it as well let me know in the comments let's move ahead so the third extension which I want to talk about is gistpad. So as you can guess this is for code snippets. So most of the time um, we go to gist.github.com and we, then we create our gist and um, all sort of things we have to do it separately like moving away from our VS code but that's not the case anymore. Uh, you can use gistpad for all your work. So basically you can go here uh, you get a tab here as well like here you can see just pad or you can click let's say i want to click on card.md i will see that copy file to gist and i can click over here if you cannot see it i just zoom it 
and uh, if you click over here it will ask you if you want to create a new public gist or you want to create a new secret gist so you can create a new public gist probably you can name it something let's say my gist for example something like that and it will create a gist for you now how you can see that you can click on this gist, gist pad and you can see i have something called my gist over here and i can click here and you can see the gist over here which is exactly looking like how you code in vs code and also what i can do i can copy from here like it has github url just bad url you can just uh, view this just in github uh, in just log you can duplicate it you can clone the repository you can add new files you can upload files and a lot of other things you can do you can even open this just as a workshop so a lot of things as you can see not workshop i would have said workspace but yeah i mean that's fine so here you can also create new scratch note which will be like you can write something over here which will be generated on by the name of the date so you can write something like welcome to my vs code extensions so all sort of things you can do and that's pretty much a good thing to take a note so as you can see i have a lot of gists over here i manage them by here on itself i don't have to go to another website to do that and this can be very useful for showcasing for creating snippets and all those sort of things so next one in my list is zoom bar so zoom bar is as you can see it creates a zoom ui in status bar of your vs code so as you can see i'm just gonna show you here that uh, here we can get this plus icon this 120 percent and this minus icon you can click over here to decrease the zoom level of your ui so if i do that let's see if i code 132 146 and you can see this is very handy when you have to uh, deal directly with zooming uh, you can also click on the middle button and you can set uh, from here itself you can reset it and a lot of other things so especially when you have to show your code if you're using zoom if you are a content creator this can be really really useful so yeah i mean this is definitely something which i use for my videos as well uh, when i have to like you know show my code to my teammates so it can be very very useful so the next extension which i want to talk about now is pola code pola code can be very very good extension if you want to create code snippets and want to share with your friends online so let's say for example i am here get st getting started i have installed this extension the first one which has four lakh something downloads and let's say i copy this piece of snippet and i want to actually create an image out of it right so i can press command shift p uh, one second so i'll just press command shift p and i can say pola code and uh, pola code and i can just enter and as you can see it has created kind of a snippet you have to just co press command v like you have to just paste it and once you paste it you will get something like this and you can click on the button over here and it will generate a png file for you and that's all you have to do and what you can see over here that whatever theme you are using for your vs code that's what is also reflected inside this particular snippet so if i change my theme to something else let's say i do that then you can let's say if i copy it again and if i paste it again then you can see the theme is changed here as well so that's the beauty about this you don't have to go to a website or something you can directly do it inside your vs code and that's really amazing talking about theme our next extension is a theme so the next extension which i want to talk about is dracula pro so dracula has a free version as well but the theme which i'm using right now which you can see right now running over here is dracula pro it has few variations so if i'll show you so as you can see i have dracula pro it has a blade version it has a buffy version it has lincoln morbius van helsing and it also has a normal dracula which is free of cost but this dracula pro is actually a paid one and i have bought it so i can show you what you get when you buy this particular theme so you get an audio book you also get a book you get some design specific things related to adobe figma and sketch uh, you get some fonts as well cascadia code fira code jet prince mono victor mono all of them are my favorite by the way and you get some icons as well like you can replace your visual studio icons for example if i go to mac these are the icons which i can use um, and similarly let's say if i go to xcode so 
it has some colorful icons as well so a lot of things uh, you will get with this you get themes for almost all productive application like vs code for xcode for intellij like jet prints related uh, insomnia hyper alfred atom and all those sort of things google chrome in fact and you get a video as well uh, showing that how you can be more productive and um, it's mostly about alfred and you get some wallpapers uh, like totally customized based on all the themes and also you get something else which is probably uh, this book which i really want to mention and this book is actually 14 habits of highly productive developers which is a really really good way to start your day like you can read um, from the book or you can also use this audio book basically so this is a good uh, particular maybe set of things which you can buy so dracula pro it's if you are an indian then it's actually not that costly as compared to other countries so yeah get it and um, it's it's really good you can even play with the themes over here so that's one of my favorite themes i personally use them for my projects also i just want to share one more theme with you if you want to have a free theme so another theme which i love the most is iu so iu is another theme which you can go to extension and you can say iu and the first one is the iu theme and this also looks very great a lot of time people ask me in my tutorials that what theme i use so this is another theme which i use the most so the last extension in my list is git graph so git graph is another extension which i personally use heavily so if you are using git and you want to perform some actions on git then this is actually a new way of doing things i'll tell you how so let's go to our code and uh, here in the status bar on the bottom you will find an option called git graph you have to click here and you can see the code in form of this graph where you can see all your commits like how it started with a branch and then all sort of branches which shows a graph like structure and uh, you can see all the commits you can select your branches from the top you can also select if you want to show the remote branches and apart from that that's not it on the right hand side you also see the date author and commit id on the top you also get some more options like setting and uh, something else as well like you can pretty much control it in every possible way and then uh, i just want to show you one more cool thing like if you click or uh, right click any of these commits so you can see you can add tags you can create a branch you can check out you can cherry pick you can revert you can drop you can copy the hash you can pretty much do everything so for example let's go here on the top and let's add a tag let's say let's say it let's say 3.2.0 and we can add a tag and that's pretty cool like we have added a tag over here 3.2.0 okay push tag okay i have to click push tag so that i can push it so yes push pushing tag and that should up and now if i'll refresh one more time this is one tag and you can see we have 3.2.0 and it's it's very easy to see like what's happening with all the branches and really really amazing how these guys have made this like totally in love with it and i personally like it you can click here and you can see the more details of it what are the documents which are changed and a lot of good stuff so git graph is something which i definitely recommend to use especially for coders when it comes to git and if you are using github and any sort of uh, other client so git graph can be very useful so this was my last extension in my list so i have a lot more extension in my list but these are some of them which i want to share if you are interested in more let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video press the like button subscribe to the channel and also let me know that what sort of extension you use right which i can also utilize in my own projects so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye take care